All right, so good morning. At least it's morning here. I glued up the third leg, which was kind of a pain. I'm seeing on some of my legs, I've got this ever tiny little, tiny, tiny gap where the ends didn't pull in tight. Um, I don't think it'll be very noticeable. I'm hoping if I run into the joiner a couple times, I'll get down to where the wood's tight together. So, I put a call on this one, that piece there, of plywood, to see if I can pull those edges in just a little tighter. So, did that this morning, and now I'm I can come back over here and take a look. I said I was gonna make these pieces bowed, and they need a three-quarter of inch bow. So what I did was. I made a blank out of plywood that's the same finish width. And I marked the center line. And I took a piece of door skins, Luan stuff, made it a little oversized. But then I marked the center line of the Luan. And then I put it between the Bessie clamp there, the square bodies. And I just dial the end slightly until I hit my three quarter inch mark up here. And I just take a pencil real quick, and I'm pretty sure that'll give me a perfect three quarter of an inch arc. Which, yeah, that ought to work. I'm not sure if I'm gonna go with three quarter. Um, I don't know, I'll have to cut it and see what it looks like. Uh, I I noticed last night you couldn't see some of the stuff very well in that nightstand, but hey, I'm a rookie. Say hi, dog. Yep. Uh, quick shop tour. You've been here before. There's all the hand tools, mechanic stuff. Um, bandsaw, which you know. I got a stash of pegboard somebody gave me. I've got to figure out where I'm going to do with that. Um, the big white cabinet is a uh, hospital throw away. I keep a ton of stuff in there and it does keep it pretty organized. TV's broke for right now. Um, slop sink left over from somebody's kitchen. Um, I guess got a little drill press for now. Um, I don't tend to go to the drill press a lot so that's good. I did build that thing you were talking about. Mine's not very pretty, but it does work, and it did keep these things all at least where I can get to them quickly. Um, miter saw I've had for uh, 16, 17 years now. That thing's a workhorse. I did hook it up to a shop vac recently. I'm trying to keep the dust cut down here. Uh, I've got some extra little plywood calls and purple heart calls and things down there. A little short cut off of maple and cherry from other projects. How's that old planer you had? I still haven't figured out what to do quite with that yet. The sander and the grinder I don't use very often, occasionally. Uh, the planers and the wraps right there, I do use that. That was a good purchase. I picked it up from a place called Tool King for about uh, 200 to 250 less than I could find it anywhere else. They were having a sale and uh, another rebate. So the planer stands on wheels, and I just keep a bunch of little miscellaneous stuff in there. I did buy a dust collector about a year year ago, Thanksgiving. It does a, a tremendous job. You can't run the planer and the joiner hardly down here without having that thing on. I've got it piped with just PVC pipe to come around to my joiner. I've got a little stub out there if I want to bring up another line out here to the middle for something. I'm not sure what yet. Uh, dovetail jig from Porter Cable. Another very good purchase. I don't use it often enough, but um, the lathe uh, that you recognize probably. And I don't get that down often enough. Um, I need to buy time somewhere. Uh, cut off, slumber rack. Uh, what else? Uh, the joiner you've seen before. Just a big grizzly joiner. Uh, this is new. I built a new bench. My old bench was awful. 
and I realized that if I didn't have a dead flat surface um, stuff was coming out whacked so I built a torsion box you can look that up online it's basically a honeycomb of uh, 3 inch MDF and in the middle there there's just this massive grid work of strips so it won't rack or 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 warp over time and then it's just got a piece of uh, this Luvon or masonite stuff with polyurethane on top of it this I can replace if I need to I haven't trimmed it out I'm gonna put some kind of nicer trim on it maybe I don't know and then extra storage underneath the routers down there and the scroll saws down there those are gonna be blanks those are the blanks for the side panels of this dresser um, what else the torsion box is nice that thing is dead flat I've got about a 30 second of an inch of a sm slight dip right through here in the middle and I'm not sure how but it, it's close enough for me so that's what I've been doing this morning and I don't know that's it next time all right, power restore. Whenever I have my little tiny heater on, and I try and run that thing, then it trips the breaker. So I was going to show you the exhaust. It's a pretty crude little scrap piece of wood I already had, and so I just hacked it and stuck a few filters in there. And believe it or not, this thing makes a world of difference. When I run, do some sanding. It used the dust used to hang in here, and that thing just takes it. It's gone. So, and I've got two filters, so I can change. Actually, I just can shape the bottom one out usually, and the top one's fine. So, all right, we'll see you more later. Just too white and nerdy.